On the night of April 9, there was a drone attack on the city of Borisoblebsk, Voronezh region, Russia. The Russian press reported on this, although the Russian defense ministry said the drones were shot down by small arms, local telegram channels reported that three of the drones hit an aviation training center. As a result, the building of the center was damaged. It is said that there were no victims during the incident. It should be noted that several military and oil industry enterprises are located in Borisoglebs. These are an aviation repair plant, a machine building plant, an oil and gas equipment plant, and an instrument making plant. Storm Kathleen brought disruption to parts of the UK and Ireland. Planes struggled to land at some airports, with flights cancelled and tens of thousands of people left without power. Motorists were hit by huge waves in Douglas, Isle of Man, as Storm Kathleen made its way through the British Isles. Eyewitness video from the capital of the British Crown Dependency showed traffic on the Douglas Promenade coastal road caught in the overtopping waves. High winds and heavy rain from Storm Kathleen persisted through last Sunday, battering parts of Scotland and Ireland in disrupting travel. The Scottish Environmental Protection Agency had 18 regional flood alerts and 37 flood warnings in place in Scotland. They have been enforced since Saturday, the Met Office has also issued a yellow wind warning from 9 a.m. on Sunday covering parts of the West and Northern Highlands, the Isle of Skye and the Hebrides. A previous warning stretched from the Scottish borders to just south of Stirling. It spanned the West Coast, throughout much of central Scotland, and ended just short of the East Coast. Scotland's ferry operator Calmac said on Sunday morning that it has cancelled all sailings on at least five different routes in relation to strong winds. In addition, all ferries to and from Liverpool, Heesham, and Douglas on the Isle of Man have been cancelled until at least 3 p.m. on Sunday, and ferries to and from the Isle of Wight also face some disruption.